Hey, how is everyone? Lou from RV Habit out on a beautiful spring day. I did a video last year on a Camp Chef Versatop flat top griddle for camping. I love the thing. It's fantastic. I love it so much that I actually have set it up at home and I use it almost every night. But uh, I want to get it back to the camper, so I went out and got a bigger Camp Chef for home. It's a Model FTG 600. Uh, let's put it together. So the first thing I'm going to tell you is this thing is heavy. The top is a beast. Uh, it's a two-person job to move that box for sure. Putting it together shouldn't be a problem though. Uh, the first thing they tell you, actually, you know what I'm going to do? The, I'm going to put uh, a time on the screen so if you want to jump to, ahead to where it's built and then uh, you don't have to watch me build it if you're, if you're not interested. But the first thing it says is to put the two legs on. There's two different legs. There's one without a cross beam and there's one with a cross beam. The one with the cross beam goes on the side where the propane regulator is. And they just attach the three bolts. The bolt, the washer, and a nut. And we'll put all three on this side and then we'll do the other side. So the legs are on, uh, three bolts on each side with a washer and a, uh, a nut. And the next thing it says is to put the two shelves on. There's two shelves. There's one just plain shelf and then there's a bottom shelf with uh, two holes where the hook for the propane goes for. So we have to put the lower one on first. And as you can see, there's nothing on this one. And it just says it goes on with four screws. Okay, both shelves are on. It says before I turn it over, I want to put the wheels on. So let's get the wheels. So there's two wheels at the end where the propane goes and they're not plastic, they're like hard rubber wheels, real nice. And they simply go on with a bolt and this is already threaded so you just thread it on. So I've turned it over, this is the back and they also give you a cross brace. That's gonna go here and simply attaches with four bolts and four washers. Get one started here. And on this bottom shelf are these two screws that went towards the propane side. And this is the little clip that's gonna attach with two more screws that'll actually hold the LPG tank. And just attach that. So we're fighting the sun here a little bit. Hopefully you can see it comes with four of these clips, two for each side. They're for the, to hold the fold down shelves and it doesn't matter. They're all the same. So I'm just going to put these on with two screws. So there's two shelves that are going to go on these brackets and they just slide right in. They're identical except 
this one has this little lip on it that's going to hold the grease tray that goes on the left side of the unit. So there is a left and a right shelf. Snap it right here. Snap it up. And that's it. Each shelf comes with a handle. I guess they hang towels and stuff, so they just simply go on with two screws. So we are just about done. It comes with two grease cups. One for the top, for the flat top, and this one goes on the bottom for when you're using the grill. And it's just Two little clips here, and it just hangs there. This is the inside, and it comes with a match lighter in case you need it. Put that out there. And it comes with four burners, and each burner has its own self-igniting. And it comes with these plates. And they just sit over those burners to protect the burners when you're grilling. And it comes with these nice coated grill. So you can use this to grill, but mostly I'm going to use the flat top and I'll show you how that goes on. That is a beast of a flat top. Heavy does not even start to describe it. Now it also comes with, besides leveling feet for the base, it also has two leveling feet on the flat top itself to take any wobble out when you're cooking. You can actually warp this. All right. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is put it where it goes and season it. Even though Camp Chef comes pre-seasoned, uh, I'm going to season it again and then we'll cook something on it. So I have it in my, it's resting point. I have it on medium high. It's reading about 365 and I'm going to season it. I'm not going to bore you with how many times I'm going to season it, but I'm going to do this about three or four times. And you could use any oil. I'm using avocado oil. It's got a, a higher smoke point. And I'm just going to put a little on there. And spread it around. All right, guys, I've got it seasoned. Uh, I did that three times. What's nice about Cam Chef is this steel actually comes pre-seasoned. So it's not, uh, it, you really don't have to go crazy. But it is, I have this on low and this is burning. I don't know if you can see that it's 520 on low. So hopefully it'll cool off. So we're gonna cook a little. I got some baked beans. I'm just gonna put them in the corner here. And the first thing we'll cook, make some smash burgers here today. And the first thing we'll do is we'll cook some bacon. Who don't love bacon? All right, that bacon's actually almost ready to move to the side and we'll get our burgers on here. All right, guys, I have to uh, learn the heat on this. I actually turned off this entire side and it's still boiling the beans. That's how hot this thing is. So I'm gonna put some, we'll get to, how to move the bacon over. I still got the bacon grease on there. I'm gonna put that on there, make some potatoes. See how hot those beans are. That's off. That's this whole side is off. I'm just gonna, gonna smash some potatoes. 
I'll let them cook a minute and then I'm going to smash them. Okay. Smash them. Perfect. Let them cook a minute. Flip them over. And just done. Okay, the burgers are done. That's melted perfectly. I'm gonna flip these. Put some cheese on them. And I'm gonna end the video here, guys, because my camera is beeping at me that my battery's about to die. But uh, not bad for the first time. I gotta kind of get used to the heat of this. Uh, it's much hotter than the, the temporary one. But uh, again, it's a Camp Chef 600. It's the four burner. I appreciate you guys watching. Have a great one.